Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the seventh question from CBSE Class 10, 2023-24 Practice Questions for Mathematics Standard with subject code 041, section A, which is multiple choice questions for one mark each. Now, this question is from the arithmetic progression chapter. Harsha made a wind chime using a frame and metal rods. She punched eight holes in the frame, each two centimeter apart, and then hung six metal rods from the frame as shown in the figure below. Now here we can see that this triangle shape is the frame and Harsha punched eight holes in this frame, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the distance between each hole is two centimeter. And through these holes, she has hung six metal rods as shown. The ends of the metal rods are aligned over a line shown by a dotted line in the figure. So as you can see, all the six rods are resting on this dotted line. If all of the rods are straight and not swaying, then what is the length of rod P? Now here they have said that rods are not shaking nor they are swinging. So if this is the case, then what is the length of this rod P, which is over here. So we need to find out the length of this given rod. Now let us consider the first 6 cm rod as our first term A1. Then this second punch becomes A2. This becomes A3. Now this is A4, where our rod P is resting. Then this is A5. This is A6, this is A7, and let us take the 29 centimeter rod as A8. Now remember that only the first rod length is given and the last rod length is given. We do not know the length of these in between rods. Now let us consider the first 6 centimeter rod as our first term of the sequence. So let us take A1 as 6 centimeter and a8 is going to be 29 centimeter. So we have to find out what is the length of A4. We need to check. Now let us write down the formula for the arithmetic progression, which is given as An is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. An is the nth term. A1 is the first term n minus 1, n represents the total number of terms and d is the common difference. Now a1 is the first term which we already know. Now let us try to find out what is common difference by using a8. So let me write here a8 is equal to a1 is the first term, so 6 plus. Now since n is taken as 8, we have 8 minus 1 and this is multiplied by common difference d. Now A8 is the length of the 8th rod. So it is going to be 29 is equal to 6 plus 8 minus 1 is 7 D. Now let us take the 6 on the other side of equal to sign. So we get 29 minus 6 equal to 7 D. So 29 minus 6 is 23 equal to 7 D or we can write D is equal to 23 divided by 7. Now this is important since we got the common difference. Now once we got the common difference, we can easily find out the length of the fourth rod, that is rod P. So let us again make use of the standard formula. So A4 is equal to A1 plus, since N is 4 now, we are going to write 4 minus 1 times common difference. Now since we have to find the length of fourth term, we will write A4 equal to the first term is the length of the first rod. So 6, let us write here 6 plus 4 minus 1 is 3 and common difference we have got is 23 over 7. Now let us simplify this. This is 6 plus 3 times 23 gives you 69 over 7 and taking the LCM, this is divided by 1 times 7 
times 7. We get 6 times 7 is 42 over 7 plus 69 over 7. So since the denominators are same, we can just simply add the numerators. So 42 plus 69 gives you 111 divided by the common denominator 7. So this is 111 over 7 centimeter. This is the length of the fourth rod. So let us see if this is in the options. So yes, here the answer is option D. So let us mark here 111 over 7 centimeter. So remember the 6 centimeter we are going to take it as the first term. Then progressively we are going to take the second term, third term and fourth term. Now according to the question we had to find out the length of rod P which is in the fourth position that is A4 and at the eighth position we have 29 centimeter. Now making use of A1 first term, eighth term we can find out the length of the fourth term by using the standard equation of the arithmetic progression An equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. First, we have to find out the common difference by using your 8th term. And then after you got the common difference, find out the length of the 4th rod. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.